The government is assuring the public that it has enough funds to be able to take Filipinos out of Iraq. But exactly how they will evacuate affected OFWs is the big question. Jenny Dolan has the report. Close to 1,600 Filipinos in Iraq will be evacuated amid the rising tension in the Middle East. And Environment Secretary Rizimato will personally head the repatriation as he flies to Qatar Thursday morning. However, they have yet to decide on the mode of transportation for the evacuees. If the airport in Baghdad is still open, then the, they will use that. However, if it is not open, they have two options uh, by land, uh, going to Amman, Jordan, and uh, the other one is going also to the north, uh, to Erbil, where there are some, uh, uh, there is an airport there that can go to either to Dubai or to Qatar for eventual flight from uh, Manila. Traveling by land will take 10 hours with the embassy in Baghdad serving as the meeting place for evacuees. Buses will then transport them to Dubai, which will be the central logistic base. We have to put uh, the Philippine flag there para makita that they are not, uh, we are just uh, going out, uh, we are just uh, uh, traveling, going to Aman Jordan, and we are Filipinos. Commercial planes are still available, but there are considerations. In the event that there are no airports, it is closed, mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, dangerous naman to mag, mag, uh, they will not allow also mag-landing yung mga, kalimbawa, uh, yung ating armed forces plane pupuntan doon. If the airport is closed, uh, you cannot use it. So we have to find a another airport nearest, and we have to bring them uh, to the nearest airport by bus. But there is one more problem, especially for Filipinos who married nationals from the Middle East. Hindi naman inaalaw kasi automatic yung lalaki, but the Filipinos kasi ang passport holder lang nang pwede makalabas eh. So these are the problems of a family. Two C-130, one C-295 aircraft, and two landing ships are on standby from the Department of National Defense. Two battalions from the armed forces of the Philippines will be sent to the Middle East to aid repatriation efforts. Meanwhile, the budget department assures enough funds to bring home OFWs, with 1.8 billion pesos allocated under the 2020 budget. The government is ready. If there's any, any for, uh, call for the repatriation of our overseas Filipino workers. From the said amount, 1.29 billion is under the Department of Foreign Affairs, while 600 million is with overseas workers' welfare administration. For News 5, Jenny Dongon, PR1 News. Secretary Roy Simatu is going to the Middle East in order to process the mandatory evacuation of Filipinos there as tensions escalate in the region. Some OFWs are willing to be evacuated, while some prefer to stay. Marian Enriquez with the rest of the story. 27-year-old Restituto Castro works at a fast food chain at a mall in Baghdad, Iraq. He was originally scheduled to return to the Philippines in March because his contract had already expired. But he will be flying back home earlier than expected. Castro says he will be asking the Philippine Embassy in Baghdad to process his repatriation papers. He is among the more than 2,000 Filipinos in the all reach nation who have been instructed to leave following President Duterte's mandatory evacuation order because of escalating tensions in the Middle East. Magka, magkagulo na, eh mahirap nang marisko po yung kami po dito, magkagulo na talaga. Iraq has been placed under alert level 4 by the DFA, meaning all Filipinos must be moved to a safer place. But it's not only Iraq that the government is closely watching. Iran and Lebanon have also been placed under alert level 4. If Castro couldn't wait to go home, it's a different case for couple Beth and Dante Tagurin, who have been living and working in Beirut, Lebanon for nearly four decades now. They say the situation is actually peaceful in Lebanon. Kami dito okay lang. 
as in normal, normal lang ang situation namin. Mm-hmm. Very normal. Mm-hmm. Especially kung nandito lang kami sa bahay, normal lang. Kanina lumabas ako, namalengke ako. Wala, walang, walang gulong dito. As in, wala. Ayos naman ako kami rito. Wala namang, at saka malayo, malayo naman ang Iran dito. Her husband Dante isn't worried about the threat of war. He recounted that the 2006 conflict between Israel and Lebanon was much worse, but they were able to write it out. Mas grabe ng war nung nangyari in 2006. So nandito pa rin kami kasi ang mga employer naman kami, especially yung mga sa amin na nagtatrabaho sa bahay, is uh, supportahin, sinusuportahin naman na kami, hindi naman kami pinapabayaan dito. Sa ngayon, no reason na going home muna kami ngayon kasi situation is fine naman. Beth Tagurin is worried about finding a new job since she's almost 60 years old. She says she'll only leave Lebanon if all her fellow Filipinos leave the country. The task to repatriate Filipinos from the Middle East will be primarily handled by Environment Secretary Roy Simatu, who is a former special envoy to the Middle East. Ito kami apply hindi rin naman sure talaga yung mga hanap buhay dyan sa Pilipinas. Pero kung sinabi na wala nang Pilipino rito, baka pa ho pwede. Then wala nang embassy, uwi na kami. There are over 2.1 million OFWs working in the Middle East, and Labor Chief Silvestre Bellio III says they need to assess how their repatriation will impact their lives. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.